Well, we're right off the Huntington River here uh, in the late winter time. It's a great time to be out camping. Really nice. I want to show you a few things today having to do with our fleece poncho liner. Our, our fleece uh, poncho liners uh, are able to be worn by themselves or with a poncho. And they're designed to do a lot more than just be a, than just be a poncho liner. Let me show you a bunch of different ways that you can use them today. Our fleeces, as you can see, they're, de they're designed to be able to be worn by theirself. Now the poncho can be snapped into the fleece. The fleece has two-sided snaps and so you can snap it in. You can snap them right together so they become one unit. Alright so I highly recommend that you get the hammock kit for ponchos if you plan on using the poncho quite a bit for a hammock. The kit makes it much easier, gives you everything you need for setting up a hammock in a very quick easy fashion and uh, one of the things it gives you is some Dyneema runners. Uh, these are rated 5,000 pounds. It also gives you a couple of aluminum tent stakes that we use as marlin spikes in the setup, which I'll show you. Now one other thing I've discovered is, because the stake or the marlin spike, because it's, um, because it's got a shock cord on it right here, you can just... Uh, Put the two of those together like that and now it can assist you in threading through this uh, the cord tube that's on your poncho. Now this is a real tree ultralight poncho. You stick your finger through the through the loop before it go, get, gets all the way in there and every so often you just pull back the slack and usually what I like to do is point the tent stake down because that way, if it's like this, it may have a tendency to catch somewhere. It doesn't really matter on most everything except the ultralight ponchos because the fabric is so, uh, it flexes over so easily. You might not notice what you're doing. Okay, so here we are out the other end. When you get to there, you can just stick that through the end just to hold it in place till you get ready to hang it up. That's all there is to hanging this darn thing up. Because I made the shuttle part of it out of a blue Dyneema cord instead of black. That way you can see the two pieces easier. So all I got to do to tighten this up is I grab the uh, end of the, the tag end of the static line. That's the one that goes around the tree. And I just grab right here, right here where that line comes out of the blue one. And I just push up like that. And I've tightened up my hammock. And that is literally all there is to it. Alright, so to let it down, I just push down on the far end of the, the line of the shuttle closest to the tree. I'm on the ground. I want to raise it up, I just pull it up. So I'm wearing my fleece while I'm setting up my hammock. And now if I want to use the fleece as part of my hammock, which I can do in several different ways, I just unsnap it. And, uh, and then I can just uh, remove it like that. All right, so now I've got the I've got the fleece taken off. Man, that breeze is a little chilly. I didn't really notice it while I had this on. So everything is interchangeable. You don't have to match the fleece color or anything like that. Okay, so so now I've got the fleece in here, and, uh, and basically all I got to do now is I just take and snap the fleece to the snaps on the poncho. Now see these these fleece snaps are double sided, so. That allows me a lot of different options. 
And one of the nice things about snapping a fleece into a poncho is, depending on different weather conditions and stuff like that, sometimes you just need a tiny bit of edge. And uh, just that fleece liner in there just is kind of cozy, feels good to have against you. That nice soft fleece right against you instead of the instead of the poncho, which I don't mind either one, but in some weather conditions you really kind of prefer maybe having a fleece or something in there that you're la that's laying against you. All right, I've got the fleece all snapped into my poncho. So when I spread that out, you see there's all that nice soft fleece inside your poncho. Works nicely. Now there's something else that you can do with the fleece as well. And it's something not many people I don't think, think really think about. But I can take and tie me a I can tie me a ridge line up here. And I'm just gonna go. Oops, I'm just gonna go right here where my Marlin spike is right there, just right above that. Now we're and you don't have to have a lot of tension on it or anything like that. You can just kind of throw you a couple half hitches in there or whatever. Just let her go like that. All right, so now I can just grab the fleece here. And I can just drape it over top of that ridge line right here. Okay. And there's actually multiple ways you can do it. When you start thinking about it, there's a lot of different things you can do here. So the first thing is you're just going to get it draped over so it's pretty well even. One thing I like to do is snap at least, since they're double sided snaps, I can snap it to itself this way. Okay. And that will, that'll keep the fleece from ever rolling and coming off and stuff like that. It just keeps it in position. So now you might want to ask, why would you throw a fleece over top of a poncho like this? I mean, what's the point of that? Well, I mean, there could be a couple reasons. It will help block the wind. It will help hold some heat in. You could, after what I've just done here, you could throw a tarp over the top of that. So the tarp will give you rain and windproofing. And the fleece will give some thermal protection which will help which will help make the, the climate inside your hammock that much more mild because it does have some insulating value rather than just a tarp blocking the wind and because we're letting it lay close to us in the hammock uh, it also can help retain some some of the heat that's in there some of the warmth and it won't be quite as cool it could make you know it could make five ten maybe 15 degrees difference in comfort to you. So ideally what you want to have is the midi, that's the the larger one, it opens a little bit wider. So just pull your fleece up onto that cord just a little bit, give it a little click and you're held in place. Now the fleece can't slide on you. Now I've camoed up my hammock with something totally different. I'm just going to lift this over my head inside I mean I can just in here breathing in here I can really I can already feel some warmth inside of here aside from a little bit of you know you're helping to retain a little bit of heat by not letting your body heat come up out of the hammock so much by having this on top of you so it really is another tool to help keep you warmer there's another use for it that you might have never thought of. So there's another reason to to uh, put this put this fleece over your head in a hammock from a ridge line, and that's really the way I very first uh, came into using it uh, over my head like that. And that is because a couple years ago I was out with the Boy Scouts, and we were out on the West Desert in a sand sandy sand dune area. And uh, a sandstorm came up during the evening, just as we were getting ready to go to bed. And uh, and so and so, you know, everybody, you're wrapping stuff around your faces to 
scarves or whatever to breathe through so you're not sucking in so much sand. I get ready to go to bed and I'm like, I'm like, man, I gotta lay something over me so I can breathe through the night. Got the idea of putting up a ringe line, draping it just like I did just now. I got in there, that was perfect. Because the wind would blow a little bit, the sand would get kind of flipped off of the off of the fleece because it's kind of, you know, the A-frame a shape. And, uh, and so, uh, man, I slept right through the night. When I woke up in the morning, I didn't have clogged up lungs or anything like that. I felt great. Worked really, really nice. So in a sandstorm or a dust storm, something like that, this, this little fleece set up like this might just save your bacon. So all we do is we just, uh, we just snap into the poncho here. So you see we're just, we're just snapping onto here. So you see the, the, cause we're snapping to the outside, we're taking the poncho's snap and we just flip it over to the outside like that. And then we just snap them together. So now I have snapped up, now I snapped up my fleece onto the outside of my poncho so that it becomes kind of like an underquilt. So now you might wonder, well, what do you do with it on the outside as an underquilt? Well, believe it or not, it's actually, it actually does give you more warmth. Just snap like that. Could get you by in a pinch. And it's acting as kind of a wind blocker and helping to contain some of the heat inside. It's not the ideal situation, but it does do in a pinch. But there is a way that you can take really good advantage of it and make a really nice little setup out of it. Let me show you that. So what I want to show you now is something totally different. We're talking radical now. This right here is uh, one of our Super UL Sil, Sil Nylon uh, ponchos. It's like the similar, it's ultralight, similar to the real tree that I'm using as my poncho slash hammock here. Uh, but oftentimes I'll keep one of these in, uh, in some of my backpacks and stuff just as, just as an emergency. They, they pack up really small, I just throw it in the bottom and forget about it. And so I have some of these just laying around in different places just for emergency. And, uh, but in this case, it means I have a second poncho. So I can add this poncho to this setup right here and make it even better. Okay, so, so normally we don't ever talk that much about which direction the hood faces when you're setting up a hammock. Doesn't really matter when it's just a hammock. But when you're adding accessories, sometimes it does matter because it means you can gain some advantage in how everything snaps up by which way you turn it. Now, when we put the, now the, the hammock itself, the hood's facing that way towards the camera, towards you. The fleece that we put on is facing away, back towards behind me. That way it gave me, that way it gave me an extra snap position right here that I could use for this, for this poncho. So that's, that's the reason I did that. If I was putting the fleece on and wasn't going to put the uh, poncho on there, it wouldn't matter which way I put it on, it'd work either way. But since I wanted another snap position, I just reversed it and it gives me another position. So now I just come along here and I snap everything up just like that. Okay, so now I've totally transformed my setup where I was using my poncho as a hammock and my fleece as an underquilt for the hammock. Now adding a second uh, Tar a second poncho to that, what I've now done is I've given windproofing, total windproofing to the setup and I've got a layer of insulation between me laying in the hammock and the outside. I used this setup one time, I was up way up on a ridge on top of the mountains and uh, I had, I'd found a little, it's hardly any trees up there, I found a little, a little grove of some pine trees and I got into there, but during the night the wind just came up, man. It was blowing like crazy. And uh, that wind was just whipping through there. 
And I just had I just had a fleece snapped as an underquilt, like I just showed you. I, I went to my truck and I grabbed another poncho, and that's the first time I ever did what I'm showing you now. I snapped it underneath and, uh, and zipped that up tight. And I'm gonna tell you what, that made a difference. That really, that totally cut out the wind and I laid in there and I was comfortable. All right, so, so now I've added my wind proofing to my hammock. So now all I've got to do is take that same shock cord. Now if you didn't have a shock cord, there is a way to do this. The tube, that, the tube right here that you, that you use in the poncho that goes all the way around this end to hang that up as a hammock. If I were to put a piece of uh, parachute cord or whatever through there, then when I got done I could just pull right here and it would just draw it, draw it right up like closing the top of a bag. So that's another way I could do it if I did not have the uh, if I did not have the shock cords. But since I do, that closes this end in. So you see that seals the end right here. So there's no draft that can get into you. Now something else I could mention to you also is think about the possibilities here. What I just showed you. Now let's say you had two fleeces with you. I could put two fleece, I can snap, I can keep snapping stuff over top of stuff on here. I could put another fleece on there and then put the poncho over there. I have two fleeces as insulation and a poncho for windproofing on the outside. I could also snap the fleece on there like I did. I could add an underquilt over top of the fleece and then close that in. And then I could add the poncho too if I wanted to. Or I could add the Osni cloak. Say I had a fleece and an Osni cloak with me. I could put the fleece on, add an Osni cloak, and then I could add the and then I could add the poncho on at the end for windproofing. And one of the things you think of as far as what you can do with them is, okay, what I just mentioned, you'd be you might be like, yeah, I'm gonna have two fleeces with me. Well, no, you probably aren't. Say you're going somewhere, a camp, and you're like, I think it's going to be a little worse weather than I was anticipating. So I'm going to take with me an extra item. So you just plan that ahead. I'm going to take an extra item because I think I might need it. All right, so, so I'm down in here feeling good. I've got... I've got some good insulation around me. It's nice wind protection. So that's what we always say about our gear. I tell people, you know, you get some people, they're like, well, I don't know if that gear's for me or whatever. And I, I flat out tell people, you know, our gear isn't for everybody. Um, and I say, here's, here's what it's really intended for is the person who has man, imagination, creativity, and resourcefulness. And, uh, you know, people like that that have that kind of attitude and thinking, they can make the best use out of our gear because they'll get creative with it. They'll think of ways they can use it that they never thought of before. And we, we really try to keep our stuff open. In other words, we give you as much function as we can. That's our thinking, you know. Give you, give you everything we can give you and leave you free to be creative. And that's what I like, you know, that's so, uh, that's what I like to do myself. So I, I'm just, I cater the gear to what I like, really, honestly. I don't think so much about you guys. <laughs> well, I mean, I do, but, but I mean, seriously, I make, I make gear that I like. And I just hope other people like it too, really. That's, that's the honest truth. Now, I do take suggestions and the people have come up with some pretty good ones for me. And uh, so, and I appreciate that. But in the end, if I don't like it, it doesn't happen. <laughs> so, because I got to use the, I camp every week pretty much all year round. And if I don't like the gear, then I'm not going to be happy with it. So I'm not going to do something to the gear that I don't like. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's my soapbox. <laughs> so here's something else that you can do with your fleece. Now you can also lay the poncho on the ground and you can use the fleece as kind of a 
liner inside kind of a to make a you know a sort of a bed out of it and uh, you know that that could work in milder conditions where you need just a little little extra or you want to go really light the fleece is PSS L length the poncho is PSS XL length so you can see the poncho is longer than the fleece is which is which is fine doesn't matter because it works just fine all right so down <clears throat> down here on this foot end what I've done is I've taken my tent stake and shoved it through both loops and then pull the elastic over then shove it down into the ground so that'll hold that corner together before you get too excited this won't make this won't make the full-fledged sleeping bag type deal this thing is not going to be your total go-to replacement for a sleeping bag but in a pinch it does pretty well and uh, if, you, if you're creative you can make this thing work pretty nicely for yourself so how well this works for you is going to depend somewhat on how big of a person you are <laughs> now so for me when I get up around my shoulders I can't quite I can come pretty close but I can't exactly totally close myself in but I can make it work for me and uh, you know if I if I just get out somewhere and I've got to uh, I got to make do or I just got to do it I'll make it work and I'll be comfortable for quite a lot of people this is gonna be this is gonna be a nice suitable size to work for them you know here again we're not really trying to make a sleeping bag out of it and that's that's our goal is to be able to offer people shelter Well, there's a little bedroll, fleece and poncho.